We'll be putting together some of the common connections we find today in the AV world. The RJ45, which is used for audio, video, and communications cable. And we'll be putting together um, both an EZ style connector as well as the standard connection. So we're going to um, cut the jacket off this cable. So now we take our tool, it has a small razor blade inside here. We're going to move it into the second slot and do one turn around, take it out, you can pull the jacket off. There's a pull string in here. We want to cut that off. Now what we're going to need to do is unwind each of our pairs and get them ready. What we'll do is form these into a into a ribbon that we can get into the connector a little bit easier. It's important though to have um, some twists as it gets into the jacket. You don't want to have this untwist into the jacket. The twisting actually helps with um, keeping interference down within the cable so we can cause some kind of um, crosstalk between these pairs and that's why they're actually twisted at different rates to minimize crosstalk. So the order is orange, white orange, orange, green, white, blue, move my browns off to the side here. I'm going to put blue here, then blue, white, and then green, then brown, white, and then brown. This is a 568B arrangement. Now I'm going to try to keep these in this order while I create a kind of ribbon with these wires. And by bending them back and forth, I get rid of that spiraling and try to make them into a nice flat ribbon. And again, trying to preserve my order. Now the easy connector is really nice because uh, I'm going to cut off the end here so I don't have any jaggeds. But what I, what's nice about the easy connector is that it has a hole in the front of the connector. And with that hole, these cables, these wires, should pop right out the front. And now as we poke that through, we can now check our colors again and make sure they're proper. I want to make sure that I have this jacket, you can just see inside here, this jacket is underneath this punch, because this is what's going to punch down on that jacket. And then each of these are lined up. Now the easy on connector uh, crimp tool has a razor blade in the front. So we're going to put this in and you'll see how those stick out right to the razor blade. And then by squeezing it, it trims off those cables and now we have a connection. Now one thing we do need to be aware of is that these don't stick out. If by chance this blade has been bent or is not sharp, then we can end up with a problem where these stick out and this connector will not fit all the way into the socket. Now that we've completed our EZ connection, let's move on to the standard connection. First thing we need to do when we make our connection is we need to cut off or trim off our jacket. So we'll put in the tool and use the razor blade. We'll make a one pass around, take the tool off, and now we can pull the jacket away. We need to trim off this string and uncoil our pairs. Now I do like to make these long to start with because it's easier to work with and then trim them back. Yeah, it's a little bit of a waste of cable, but uh, not too much. And it does make uh, things go quicker because if they're too short, it's really hard to get them in the right order. So we'll just unwrap these on down to the jacket. green one, and so it's white, orange, orange, green, 
blue, blue, green, white, brown, and brown. And we're going to again work these in order and bend them back and forth and make them into a ribbon. And make sure my colors are still good. Orange, blue, blue. And work these out. We find our connector and we see that we're going to, going to have to have it, the jacket up to this point, and then our cables up front. So let's just double check that we've got our ribbon still going in the right order. So it's white, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, White, brown, brown. So I got them all in the right order. We're going to hold this up, find where to cut, trim these. And now put on our connector, making sure we have everything lined up. Now I can look down inside this window and double check that I have all of the proper color, colors in order. So again, white, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, and then brown. Now that that looks good, I can use my crimping tool. Squeeze down. And that's our connection. It's really important for our installers to know how to make these cables correctly. We use them all the time now. We use them for Ethernet, we use them for audio, we use them for video, we use them for all kinds of things in our designs these days. So get to know your tools, get to know your connections, and try to memorize your wiring scheme.